Good afternoon and Merry Christmas. The waiting is finally over. Santa has come. The family has gathered. The figgy pudding is being eaten. Regardless of what traditions you and your family hold, the special day has finally come. We have spent four long weeks during Advent waiting and preparing and expecting, and now is the time to celebrate. If this is how you're feeling, you can probably relate to Simeon and Anna. No, they weren't in Bethlehem to welcome Christ into the world, but they weren't too far away. They lived in the capital city of Jerusalem, which was about five or six miles away. And they've been waiting for the Messiah to come, just like the rest of the Jewish nation. But things were a little bit different for Simeon and Anna. It's one thing to wait for something to happen that, you know, eventually at some point is going to come. But it's another thing to know that you will see that event with your very own eyes. Now, we don't know how old Simeon was, but we know that he had an intimate relationship with God. Or, as Luke put it in his gospel, the Holy Spirit was on him. God had revealed to Simeon that he would not die before he would see the Messiah with his own eyes. We have no idea how long he waited, but I suspect he was eager and anxious for that promise to come true. Then one day, he felt compelled by the Spirit to go to the temple. I suppose you could call it a coincidence. Simeon went to the temple on the same day that Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple to be consecrated. According to the Jewish law, this was to happen on the eighth day after a child was born. Now, the temple was likely crowded with hundreds of people, including other parents bringing their newborn children to be consecrated. But Simeon knew there was something different about this child. Can you imagine Mary and Joseph's surprise when this stranger came and took the child from their arms and he began praising God for the blessing that their child was and the blessing he would be? Well, maybe Mary and Joseph would have been more surprised by that if they hadn't already had a bunch of shepherds barge in on them after Mary gave birth and coming in with a story of angels singing about their baby. Or they probably wouldn't be as surprised if both of them hadn't already been visited by angels themselves. Simeon offered a blessing to the child and to his parents. But Simeon's words weren't entirely happy. He said that this child, Jesus, would cause the falling and rising of many, and that he would be a sign that would be spoken against. In other words, this child was going to face opposition. And things weren't going to be any easier for Mary. Simeon told her, a sword will pierce your soul. And that, I think, is a very good way to describe what Mary must have felt years later as she stood at the foot of the cross of her, her dear son. Now, so, no sooner did Simeon wander off, continuing to lift up his praises, than Anna shows up on the scene. Now, Anna had become a widow seven years after she got married. And the Greek is kind of ambiguous about her age. Anna was either 84 years old, or she had lived as a widow for 84 years. Either way, she was an old woman. But she, like Simeon, was devoted to God. In fact, she had made the temple her home. She never left it. She stayed at the temple to worship nonstop, fasting and lifting up prayers around the clock. Like Simeon, Anna approached the bewildered parents and started to give thanks for their child. And then she went around telling everyone else about their baby. She told them that he was the one who would bring the redemption that they were looking forward to. We've waited a long time for Christmas to come. Simeon and Anna waited even longer for the time to meet their promised Messiah, the baby Jesus. But you know what? You don't have to wait anymore. He is here. 
He is alive, he is active, and he is eager for you to meet him, just as Simeon and Anna did. He is eager to bring redemption and hope into your life, just as Simeon and Anna said that he would. And you know what the good news is? You don't have to wait anymore. Now is the time to meet him. Would you pray with me, please? Lord Jesus, today we celebrate your birth and all that it means. We celebrate because now God is one of us. We celebrate because now redemption has come. We celebrate because now you are with us and you always will be. So give us the courage to approach you with joy and thanksgiving, just as Simeon and Anna did, and to offer you our very lives. Amen. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk again later, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Christmas.